Okay, I've come up with another way to get this thing to work, um, and it's a, a very simple technique. Uh, I'm surprised nobody's mentioned it before. Maybe it's because it was so simple and obvious that nobody said anything about it. But uh, you can get this to work without the bar going across the center and without the battery. Um, I'll take this out. And uh, you do it with a magnet. Here's a Neo magnet. Um, polarized this way, north, north, south. Um, and I got these pieces of steel on here to made up with to go to connect it um, across here. So uh, basically, you see, and uh, watch the LEDs over here. It it has the same operation as it does with the battery. So I'm going to put it on. It's on there. Now it's holding. I mean, it's it's operating. The exact same way as it did before uh, while I was using the battery. And here, I'll rip it off and watch the LED. You'll see the field collapse and it come out of there. Um, so uh, it does the same thing. Here, I'll flip it over to the other side. So this would be like changing the polarity of the battery and in, uh, going into the coil. So now, it'll, now it's going the opposite way. Uh, see the red one? Here, I'll rip it off and it's holding again. I mean, it's the same, it's the same function. And there's the green one. So, um, that's that. I don't know if that helps us understand anything, but it works like that. Okay, I discovered another interesting effect that I'd like to share here. Um, basically what I've done is I've changed my, I'm using my battery again. And I've changed my switch to, uh, so it feeds it, the center is off, which is where it's at right now. If I go this way, the red one lights up. Um, and if I go the opposite way, the green one lights up. So I'm feeding in an AC signal from the battery, basically. Or I'm flip-flopping the polarities between either side of the switch. Um, so, we'll see the red one, green one, red one, green one. Alright, there's nothing special there, but uh, the interesting part comes when I pull this off in between each phase. Um, so here, I'll pull it off. You see the red one bouncing out. And now I'll try to get a red one. Okay, I'm going to go this way. No red one. You see that green one still bounce out. And you'll see it come out there. Now I'll try to get a green one. So I'm going to be going this way. No green one. But you still see the red one bouncing out. There, see it'll still collapse out. Now I'll try to get a red one go going in. No red. But you still see the green bouncing out when I turn the switch off. And when I collapse the field. I'll try to get a green again. No green. The red still comes out, um, and hopefully the vit YouTube uh, downloads all these lights correctly so you can understand what I'm saying. But it's appearing as though less energy is going into it. In other words, the LED is not lighting up going in. But whenever I go to collapse the field, energy is coming out. So it appears like less energy is going in than is coming out. I of course don't have the equipment uh, to prove any to prove that's happening. I'm not claiming that that is happening, but uh, it looks that way. And possibly there's a rational explanation. Somebody can let me know what's going on here.